In previous part of this tutorial, we set up inductive heating problem for three-dimensional billet, and in this part of tutorial we are going to post-process results. So when scene is finishes with simulation, then it opens Paraview post-processor, and we have to click Apply to load results in post-processor. Now we are ready to visualize them. So let's say we want to see the Joule heating distribution on the surface of billet. So for that, make sure that our results are selected, results that we want to derive other results from. Then we click on filters, search, and we will search for extract block filter. So you see that it appears here. We click on it and press enter. Now we will select billet and click apply. So you see that now only billet is visualized. Yeah? In similar way, you can also add inductor or disable it. Um, now, if you want to visualize gel heating distribution on the surface, you just click gel heat here in the selection of filters. And it is visualized now. You see that gel heating has higher values in the proximity of inductor. It has much lower values here, we're away from uh, inductor. Um, let's say if you want to visualize the temperature distribution on the surface, you just change the field. You see that at initial time, the temperature of billet is 22 degrees. If we will go to the last time step, let's click on this button also so that results are visualized to visible that range. So you see that uh, after 20 seconds, the temperature on the surface was 20, 48 degrees Celsius. So for example, if you want to, to draw the plot with uh, temperature distribution on the axis of this billet, then you go to filters, search, and type plot over. And you have to select this plot over line filter. I click on it and push enter. So here we will select Z axis, but of course you can select any other axis you want to visualize this plot. Um, we click apply. You see that there is a bunch of different results on axis, but we want only temperature distribution on axis. So for that I will scroll down. I will disable all fields and I click on temperature. So you see now the temperature distribution on axis at the last time step at the time 20. So you see that in the center of this billet the temperature was uh, slightly more than 45.8 degrees Celsius and on axis points on the top and on the bottom where we expect also the lowest temperature the temperature was about 42.5 degrees Celsius. Of course, you can also make slices for this billet um, to take closer, to look closer on uh, temperature distribution or gel heating distribution. So if you don't like this square here around, then you can disable it with this clicking here on this show plane. Uh, box. Uh, also, if you want to change the range to visible to, of this data to visible that range, you have to click on this button. So now you can see, for example, current density distribution in billet. So this was induced current. Um, so let's say if you want to visualize some magnetic field lines then you can select, for example, the main field, um, then use the stream tracer filter. Um, I will draw field lines for magnetic field intensity real part, maximum streamline, streamline length. Um, let's set it to 1000. We are going to draw uh, field lines that are going through that axis. 
and um, for resolution I will specify 10. And if you click apply, then you see that there are a bunch of magnetic field lines. They have a very strange color. That's because automatically the first field was selected, so you can choose another one, for example, magnetic field intensity, or you can just choose solid color, so it's much easier to, to visualize and interpret. Um, let's enable inductor. And let's make it vis visible. So you see that magnetic field lines uh, here around terminals are parallel to the surface, which also makes sense. Uh, magnetic field lines go through the billet, through the inside hole of inductor, which also looks good. So basically, with all those post-processor tools that are available in their bunch, you can take a look, for example, here in filters, alphabetical, and those are, are all tools that you can use to visualize your results. Here was Yuris from Sinus. We did inductive heating problem for three-dimensional billet. Uh, you can find more video tutorials for Sinus platform in our YouTube channel. Follow it by clicking on subscribe button and see more tutorials coming soon. You also can apply for beta testing of the platform at our webpage. Please find the link in the description below. Thank you.